Well, hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to this website. Uh, my name is Craig Fallhaber, I'm your instructor for the class. Um, I get to the website just by typing in mymathlab.com and it takes you right here. You can click, uh, after you register, uh, you'll sign in with your username and your password. And you should see a list of classes here. Um, ours is Fall 2016 Math 121 Online. And when you click on that class, after a couple seconds, you should get something maybe that looks like this. Um, this is the main page, uh, which you won't spend a ton of time on, but it does have a little like what to do next thing. Uh, these are the next assignments that are due for Chapter 1. Uh, the study plan is just optional, so you can use it or not. It's not part of your grade. Um, what you will do a lot is maybe uh, go to the homework. You can see all the due dates here and uh, if you click on one of those homework assignments uh, it'll give you a list of questions. There are about 25 questions for each assignment. If you click one it'll pop up the question. In this case this is a graphing problem so uh, you have to figure out how to graph this equation that they've given you. Uh, you would do that since it is a line you would use this little line tool. You would click two points on the line and click save. Um, that's not right, obviously, I just sort of made up a couple points. Um, so I'm going to X out of this. Now one thing that you should do on the website is go to Discussions and introduce yourself if you'd like to. Uh, I did myself right here. Feel free to respond to that. Um, you have quizzes and tests right here on the left as well. And um, you can see all the due dates, how much time you have for each assignment. Um, when you're finished with a couple of assignments, you can go to your gradebook and it'll kind of show your progress so far. One thing that's a little bit different about this semester is that when you go to homework, you'll see there's these show your work problems. Uh, you'll see the little SW next to the question, that means show work. If you go into one of those questions, you can answer it just like you would a normal question, but the answer only gets you one out of five points. The other four points come from when you click the show work button. When you click the show work button, you should get a blank screen here, and if you have sort of a a tablet like I do, you can write on the screen, you can write your uh, equations here, and you can show your work that way. That works fine. Um, you can type things in if you'd like. You have this equation editor that you can use. If you decide you want to use this equation editor, you can put in little fractions and square roots and that kind of stuff. Um, my recommendation, honestly, would just be to write down your work on a piece of paper. and Click this button right here, right there and you can actually upload the picture of that piece of paper. You can take a picture with your phone or whatever. Uh, you can upload that picture uh, just by clicking this button right there. Um, so once you submit that, um, I'll be able to see it and I'll be able to grade it by hand and give you some suggestions. Um, so that's pretty cool. So for each chapter, uh, you're gonna have 25 regular old homework assignments and then five show your work assignments. The reason to show your work is important, I think, is because um, at the end of the semester you'll be taking a final, and the final will be taken on paper, so you'll have to show your work for that so that, um, so that we can grade it. Another cool feature that I wanted to show you is that when you're just going through the regular old homework problems, if you get stumped, there's always this little link called Question Help, and it gives you some options. It'll help you solve this step by step. You can view an example. There might be a video, an animation. You could go to the um, textbook itself, which is uh, on this website. Uh, if you're still stuck, you can click this Ask My Instructor and it'll send you an email. It'll send me an email uh, with the question number that I can click and I can see if you've made any progress on it. Uh, so those are pretty good options as you're working through the regular old homework. Uh, when you do the Show Your Work homework, um, I want you to kind of do those on your own. Uh, you can still, of course, ask me questions about it, uh, but you won't have all of the other help options available. Okay, that's a quick introduction to the website. Uh, I hope the class goes well for you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.